Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a pharmacy. You guys have been asking for some more city-related builds, so I finally decided to make one that won't take absolutely ages for you guys to construct. Here we have a pretty nice-looking pharmacy. It's not an incredibly modern-looking pharmacy, but it's not an old-looking pharmacy either, so it should fit into the majority of city builds. If we take a look at the inside, we also have a nicely laid out very simple very clean interior as well and i don't know what else to tell you about this guys it's just a nice simple building looks great easily recognizable as a pharmacy we have a nice big plus there i think that most people would know what this thing is looking at it from afar if you want to make this thing it's really really easy let me show you how so if you want to make it Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some birch wood planks, some dark oak planks, some black oak quartz, some black stained glass pane, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some dark oak wood slabs, some birch wood slab, some red hardened clay. And we need all of the other materials in the inventory that you can see right now. So you might want to pause this video, grab everything that you see, and once you've grabbed everything, you can hit play and then continue on. So once you have all your stuff... And once you've figured out where you want to make it, and I'm going to be making it in my city. I'm going to be making it between the post office and the pub. <laughs> and I can tell you guys that this pharmacy will take up 13 blocks. And this is coming across the front of the pharmacy. It's like 13 blocks wide and 17 blocks long going backwards. So if you want to plan this out a little bit better, construct the rectangular shape that you can see on the ground in front of you. Now, if you do construct that rectangular shape, I can tell you that you want to begin by coming all the way to the front left hand corner of your rectangular shape you want to move it into the right from the corner by three that's one two and three and you want to move inwards by three as well one two three and this is where we will construct our build so begin by placing a birch wood plank on top of the block that we were hovering on top of behind that plank place two black stained glass paint one and two go left by one then place a birch wood plank. Go back from that plank by one with the glass. Then go back by three with the quartz. One, two, three. Go back by one with the glass. Then one with the birch wood planks. Go right by two with the black stained glass pane. One, two. Go back by one. Then go back by two with the birch wood planks. That's one and two. Then you want to come across the back, going to the right by six with the birch wood planks. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on. We've done a we've done a bit of a miscount. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Then from this sixth block, you want to move inwards by one. Then move inwards by two using the black stained glass pane. One, two. Go right by one. Then move to the right by one with the birch wood planks. Come down by one the black stained glass pane. Then a three block of quartz. One, two, three. Then one glass pane. One birch wood plank. Move to the left by two of the glass pane. One, two. Down by one the pane. One the birch wood plank. Then go left by one the pane. One block of quartz. Go up by one with the block of quartz. Then place a black stained glass pane on top of the quartz. Go left by two, that's one and two. Go down by two of the block of quartz, that's one and two. And connect back to where you first began using a black stained glass pane. And the shape that you want to have on the floor should look like this, which looks like a little bit of a complicated shape, but I'm sure that you guys will manage that no problem. So, what do you want to do once you've got that taken care of? Well, I can tell you this. So, on top of every single one of the birchwood plank blocks and block of quartz blocks, you want to stack two additional birchwood planks. So, everywhere, one plank, two plank, one, two, one, and two, even on top of the block of quartz, so on and so forth, until you have a second or two layers of a birchwood plank on top of every single block that isn't glass. That's basically how you want to do things. And what you want to do on top of the glass, once you've done that, is you want to add two additional layers of glass. 
So you want to make the glass as high as the birch wood plank block. So this may take a second or two because glass pane, as you guys know, is a little bit irritating to say the very least. Oh, do I, do I love myself a nice little bit of glass pane? You guys have absolutely no idea. We, we have a complicated history, me and glass pane. All of it is awful. So we just want to, oh, we've just got this back corner to fill in as well. And once we have all of that, um, also do add up the glass pane on the front of the build as well. So just do add a little bit of glass pane on the front and you'll end up with a shape that should now look like that. Going all the way around the top of the pharmacy, add a layer of dark oak wood planks. Now, later on, once you've added a layer of dark oak wood planks, and once we've done the roof and all that fun stuff, we may swap out some of these dark oak wood planks for a different material. We may find that we like maybe some like stairs in there instead. The reason that we're placing these now is because it is far easier to swap a stair in than to place a stair initially. But that is the shape that you guys are looking for right there now once you've got that sorted out this is what we are going to do next so what do we want to do first we want to connect the corners of our pharmacy together so we want to connect for instance you can see all of this empty space between like the front left hand corner the front right hand corner at the top we want to connect all this empty space together with a layer of birch wood slabs like this in the upper half of the build so you kind of want to connect things together and you want to make it a nice solid shape so you want to do that at the front and the back and the negative empty space simply place some birch wood slabs in the upper half not the lower half just the upper half to give you a flat surface like this now once you have your flat surface we now want to take the top row of the entire front of the pharmacy and we want to extend it outwards by one row using the birch wood slabs as i've just done here so extend out that ex extend out the entire first row outwards using the birch wood slabs take the front left hand corner and the front right hand corner slab and extend those down to the ground using birch wood planks and a combination of slabs as well. You'll have to place a slab underneath the top slab, but then you can connect them downwards using birch wood planks like this. Now, once you've done that, place a dark oak wood plank on top of each one of those corner birch wood planks like this. Connect the birch wood or connect the dark oak wood planks together using dark oak wood slabs in between going from left to right. Do the bottom half so that you can see like the, the like building the pharmacy. It kind of comes up in a gradient like this. It looks really nice that way. What we now want to do is we want to, behind every single one of those slabs that we've placed, we want to place a block of quartz. So behind every single one of those slabs, place a block of quartz. Then, on top of this layer of block of quartz, we want to add another layer of block of quartz that is one block shorter on either side. And then we want to do the same thing again to the next row. And the next row. And the next row, so that we form a some sort of quartz pyramid, like this. We also want to place a nice big red plus shape right in the center of our quartz pyramid using our red stained clay. In this fashion right here, you can see that that is slap bang in the middle. That is what gives us our pharmacy look. Now, once you've done this on the front, you actually want to do the exact same thing on the back. So if we were to come to the back here, we want to take the back of the pharmacy, the upper half, and we want to extend each one of the top upper upper half blocks outwards by one with a layer of uh, with a layer of a birchwood slabs. And then we want to connect those slabs downwards. We want to connect them downwards using birch wood planks and a mixture of birch wood slabs. So we want to connect the two corners down like this. That is perfecto. And then we want to then we want to place dark oak wood planks on top of the birch wood slabs like this. After placing the dark oak wood planks, we then want to extend them out of the back of the build by one each. We want to connect them together at the bottom using our dark oak wood slabs, like this. 
Then we want to create the same block of quartz pyramid between the back row of dark oak wood planks or if you find it easier directly behind the dark oak wood slabs at the back. So you want to form this sort of shape. On the back, I haven't designed it so that there is a big plus shape. However, you could add one if you so decide. That's completely up to you. However, once you have that taken care of on the front and the back, it's now time for us to add a little bit more to it. So, what do we need for this next bit? We just really need dark oak wood stairs and a little bit of dark oak wood slab. So, the roof is very simple. The roof begins on the sides of the dark oak wood planks that you've placed. So, the roof comes front to back and it overhangs the front and the back of the pharmacy by one row each, like this. So on the front, it will obviously overhang by one row, it'll overhang the pillars by one row, and on the back, it'll do the exact same thing. And you should find that the roof, actually, we are finding that this roof, now looking at this, we may have to add a bit more block of quartz later, but we'll just tackle that as we need to. So we're just adding the layers of dark oak wood stairs that remember, the uh, the layers of stairs overhang the front and the back of our pharmacy. They overhang them by one row from the pillar. So you can see it overhangs the front of the pharmacy by one row in relation to the pillars. That's what's important. And it overhangs the back in the same way. Now we are just building up all of these rows of dark oak wood stairs and it's almost certain that we yeah we we probably are going to have to add an additional layer of block of quartz or alternatively now we, we 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 will use block of quartz here so you'll notice that on the front and the back we do have to add an additional layer of block of quartz coming all the way up to the top like this but that's perfectly fine underneath the dark oak wood stairs you also want to place upside down dark oak wood stairs as well so that comes all the way up to the top like this and the very top center stair you want to place an upside down dark oak wood stair with a dark oak wood slab in front of it and coming up the very center of the roof will be dark oak wood slabs so the front of the pharmacy will look like this and the back of the pharmacy will look very very similar except the back of the pharmacy will not unless you choose it to have that i mean it's completely up to you whether you want it this way unless you choose it to have a plus um i didn't i didn't design it with one in mind i figured that it'd be kind of nice if uh, the front and the back weren't the exact same and they're not actually as well um, like structurally speaking the back's a little bit um, longer than the front um, if that makes sense but um, we're just doing the roof the roof is built up in an extremely logical way I'm sure that you guys can see how this is built I thought that we'd actually get away with the quartz pyramids that we had there I didn't think that we'd have to make them any bigger uh, I was wrong and uh, yeah I apologize for that, but adding an additional layer of quartz on the front and the back, I'm sure that you guys won't have any problem with that. Remember to place upside down dark oak wood stairs underneath the overhanging layer of dark oak wood stairs like that. And there you go, that's the front of your pharmacy done pretty much. And if we come to the back of the pharmacy here, then we just have to do a very, very similar thing. We just place um, an extra layer of block of quartz underneath the roof here. As you can see, I just place a nice little block of quartz. There we go, and then we just have to place our upside down dark oak wood stairs. And do remember that when it comes to the very top dark oak wood stair up here, we want to place an upside down dark oak wood stair with a an upside down one. There we go, with a dark oak wood slab. I, I guess it doesn't apply to the back, but you you have to do that on uh, on the front. But there we go. That doesn't look right, does it? There we are. And um, yeah, we'll just place an upside down dark oak wood stair there. And then we'll run the dark oak wood slab from the front all the way to the back, right from the center, coming backwards like that. And that will give us a nice triangular shape like so. Now, once you've got that sorted out, that is pretty much the entire pharmacy build complete. If you want to make it just that little bit more interesting, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the pharmacy, where we have our layers of dark oak wood slabs, or dark oak wood blanks, you may find that you want to use some upside-down dark oak wood stairs instead. If you want to shape the pharmacy a little bit more interestingly, so like that, and you see where we have these dark oak wood planks here, um, you might feel as though that, once again, you want to kind of like make those a little bit more interesting and turn those into dark oak wood stairs. It's completely up to you. It's not a big change. 
and you could even do a similar thing on the back as well although and um, the back already looks quite nice anyway so uh it's it's completely up to you whether you want to do this it, it depends whether you're happy with the design or not but the more like depth and stuff this place has uh the better to be honest so there you go that's all that you might want to do to the outside and uh when it comes to the door i did alter the door ever so slightly so the door of the pharmacy all we have here is we want to place a, a, a quartz stairs at the bottom in front of the door and upside down quartz stairs on top we want to place a quartz slab on top of each one of the upside down quartz stairs and connect them together at the top like this this creates like a much nicer reinforced door and then we can simply place the birchwood door in the center looks great like that it honestly does so that is the entire outside building of the pharmacy taken care of why don't we talk about the inside now so for the inside the first thing that we'll have to do is we will have to rip up the floor and seal the roof so i'm going to do this off recording but i'll rip up the entire floor and underneath the windows and i'll replace it with block of quartz i may even add a red stained clay rug in the center of the room when it comes to the ceiling i will seal it up using either block of quartz or mm, it might also be dark oak wood planks as well and i'll also add some sea lanterns to the ceiling to add a little bit of a light but i'll do both of those things and i'll be back it won't take long and you guys will be able to see very easily what you have to do to do to make yours like mine anyway back in a mo okay so this is the interior of the pharmacy i replaced the floor with block of quartz i haven't added the rug yet even underneath the windows i placed block of quartz and in the ceiling i've taken the very top row of dark oak wood planks i've added a layer of dark oak wood slabs that comes entirely across the ceiling I added a plus shape of uh, of sea lanterns right in the center of the ceiling and I dug around that and I placed a layer of block of quartz just in the roof here just a row higher than the actual slabs themselves and uh, that's how I achieved that effect uh, I think that looks okay I, I might even be tempted to add something that kind of like goes around the sea lanterns like I, I might be tempted to place some like wooden trap doors or something around the sea lanterns or maybe just leave them as they are there I mean it, if you want an ulterior light source then you might just want to do something a bit differently but this is the inside of the build if you're following along pause the video do exactly what i've done to the inside i'm sure that you guys will be able to do that without any instructions it's really simple stuff once you've done that hit play and you can continue on so the next thing that i'm going to do is i am going to add a nice little till area a nice little cash register that sort of stuff and that's going to be right in the very back center of our pharmacy so um the cash register and stuff is going to come off the back wall it's going to come out the center three blocks um we're going to leave a gap of one and then on on the floor i'm going to place a dark oak wood plank on the left and right of the row three that we have in the back center of the pharmacy i'm going to connect those planks together in the center using a dark oak wood slab i'm going to connect the left hand dark oak wood plank to the wall using a dark oak wood slab and i'll connect the right hand one to the wall using a wooden trap door this allows us to navigate the actual um like the area where the people would pay and stuff i'm going to place a stone brick stair here because that acts as a cash register uh, if you want to decorate the area even more, I would suggest item frames, uh, a potion of sorts, and uh, maybe even like a flower to put in like a flower pot. And you might even want like something, something to just put on the actual like reception area as well. So maybe like a flower pot on the front right hand corner with a flower in it, and maybe like a light grey carpet here just to kind of like, just to put here basically. Um, above where the pharmacist would be i'm going to place an item frame like a dragon's breath potion just just because they usually have like shelves and stuff don't they with loads of potions and stuff on them so i figure we'll have that up on the wall looks quite nice um i'm going to place a rug in the center of the room here i'm going to have the rug be uh, red hard and clay so i'm gonna have the rug be um one two three i'm gonna have it three blocks wide and i'm going to have it one row away from the counter and i'm going to extend it all the way to the door and i'm going to have it one row away from the door and i'm going to knock out all of these blocks and i'm going to replace them with red stained clay like this coming out of each one of the four corners of the carpet i'm going to place a light gray not a light gray what am i looking at i'm going to place a stone slab out of each one of the four corners like this on top of the slab i'm going to place a dark oak wood fence 
like this, suspended in the air. And around that I'm going to place item frames. And uh, what these are going to be is these are going to be like little stands with pills on them. Uh, these are basically, I mean, or you, you could have like books or something else in them, but I'm going to have, when I say pills, I'm going to have like potions and stuff on these racks, um, because we are going to have shelves, we're going to have two shelving units on the very left hand side of the pharmacy, and on the very right hand side, foot side of the pharmacy, we're going to have them there, and we're going to have them there as well, but we're also going to have these which I'm going to stuff uh, potions on. Uh, to make shelves, I'm just going to use some block of quartz, some quartz stairs, and some quartz slabs. I'm going to place uh, upside down quartz stairs on the, let's say this is the right hand side of the building, I'm going to place upside down quartz stairs on the as left as I can go, and as right as I can go, and as far inwards as I can go. I'm going to connect the stairs together using slabs. On top of the stairs, I'm going to place upside down quartz stairs. I'm going to connect those together using quartz slabs. And then I might just, no, on top of the stairs, I'll place quartz slabs and then I'll connect them together. That'll allow us to actually place stuff on the wall, silly me. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, as far inwards as I can go and as far left and as right, I'm going to place quartz stairs, connect them together using quartz slabs. I'll place upside down quartz stairs on top of the upside down quartz stairs. I'll place quartz slabs on top like this. I'll connect them together like that and then it's just a matter of placing some item frames in the center here and uh, what you can even do is if you don't want like a shelving unit I've just destroyed that haven't I if you don't want like a shelving unit you could very easily place like chests in between the shelves and you could place say like a brewing stand in between if you wanted something uh, that looked ever so slightly different maybe if you wanted a more packed out look and then it's just a matter of grabbing potions just loads of them all different colors all different varieties whatever you want and then just in some sort of order maybe or just just randomly completely up to you um, place them around the actual shop uh, anywhere that you have an item frame throw a potion in if you whoops <laughs> if you want to make sure that they're all different feel free I'd, i've not really got time for that this is a tutorial and uh, just place them wherever you want this is a very small pharmacy looks great though no wasted space in here and there you go so you have a nice lovely pharmacy we have loads of potions around it looks like one we have a cash register we have a till we have everything that we need uh, that is the inside uh, if you want a quick look there we go that's the left hand side if you want to pause that make sure everything's right and that is of course the right hand side if you want a quick look pause that um, that's the ceiling once again and that is the like the floorish space once again uh, I had to knock off the door to replace the actual <laughs> I had to knock off the door didn't I to actually place the floor but that's that's the pharmacy then if you want to dig around the pharmacy and if you want to place something like stone slabs in there or whatever then you can you can feel free to I've not decided what material that I actually want to be in mine yet I'm not sure how I'm going to mold it into the streets and stuff that will eventually be here but ladies and gentlemen that's the pharmacy. That is the pharmacy inside and outside. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to smack that like button. If you like the video, please do that. It really helps me out. I'd be happy. Cinnamon would be, uh, Cinnamon would be happy. She'd be ecstatic. It'd be great for everybody. If you enjoy the content, please do subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, not only should you say hello down there in the comment section down below, but you should also click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. Uh, if you want to check out any more of my content, guys, check out the card system in the description below and you will find all sorts of stuff. I would highly suggest you check out the playlist. So, um, if you wanted to make more city builds, for instance, like all you can see on the ground in front of us if you wanted to make pubs, post offices, townhouse, skyscrapers, apartment buildings, then check out the city builds playlist, the real world's buildings playlist. If you wanted to make more park related builds, more public park related builds, then check out the park builds playlist. And a lot of these builds are transferable. They don't just need to be put in a park. They can be put in loads and loads of places. If you want to check out the Park Builds playlist, check that out. If you want to make houses of all different varieties, wooden houses, survival houses, uh, modern houses, we have playlists for all of those. You can see nice examples of all of what I've just described on the floor in front of you. We have a whole mix of stuff. We have modern houses here, we have survival houses, we have wooden houses, we have all sorts of stuff. Check out the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.